Hello, my name is Dr. Rudy Rosen, and I'm your instructor for Texas Aquatic Science, an introduction. I'm a research professor at the Meadows Center for Water and the Environment at Texas State University. I recently wrote the textbook, Texas Aquatic Science, in cooperation with Texas Parks and Wildlife Department and the Heart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies at Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Texas Aquatic Science was modeled after the Missouri Department of Conservation's curriculum, Conserving Missouri's Aquatic Ecosystems, from which some of the texts and illustrations were drawn and used or adapted. Funding for our work was provided by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's Sport Fish Restoration Program and the Ewing Hossel Foundation, San Antonio. This lesson is adapted from that book, published by and available from the Texas A&M University Press. Production of this lesson and video, in part, was funded by a grant from the National Science Foundation through the Research Coordination Network for Climate, Energy, Environment, and Engagement in Semi-Arid Regions. Today's lesson is on Texas's lakes and ponds. To help focus today's lesson, here are a few questions to consider. Where are ponds and lakes in your community? What role do they play in your economy? How are lakes similar to ponds and how are they different? What kind of organism makes up the greatest amount of living material in a pond? Besides providing food, what other roles do plants have in lake and pond ecosystems? How are plants that live underwater similar to plants that live on land? And how are they different? How do temperature and oxygen levels in ponds change during each 24 hour period? How do ponds change over time? And finally, what are the benefits and costs of building new reservoirs as a solution for Texas's future water needs? And consider the economy and the environment in your thinking about that answer. 